Alright, before you go further, you should check your animations. Here's how you do that. So, right now I got fire mid, and what I want to do is make sure fire down works. So, let's save this out and hit play, and I'll probably find that it doesn't work. Okay, so I should definitely see a different change. You know, I should see the arms in a different position. Don't lose hope. There's a lot of things that has to be looked over, and you almost have to go back to Maya to kind of look at you know things. So like uh, for one, now that I have all these animations happen on uh, the right shoulder, right arm, right barrel, all the stuff, all the way down from joint four. Sometimes uh, it has a hard time distinguishing that. So what I like to do, if that's the case, is go through. These are the, the items that I always have keyframed. The animation works right already. So what I'm just going to do is strengthen the animation here in Maya a little bit. And the, how I do that is I have Make sure the animation works first before you go attempting this. Make sure you have all the nodes that usually do move. And then go in here and hit S on the keyboard for every red line. And what that'll do, it'll make sure when it exports the FBX that there is keyframes on every object. Before, what it was relying on was the change that was already happening at one. So if there was no keyframe there, Unity didn't know what to do. Another thing, make sure these are all linear. And I don't have to do much as far as anything else goes. I have to just export it out. But here's a nifty trick I like to show people is if I have all these frames going and I want to make sure they're all on frame 35. I can type in 35 here and it'll move all of those frames there. So I can section all these off very quickly by just grabbing them, typing in 65, and that'll straighten those up. Okay? It's just a little trick I like showing. Do I have to change much? No, because I just had to export the soldier FBX, export that back out, replace it. Don't mess around with scale. I can export that. It's not going to ruin scale back here. It's just going to make sure that those frames are on there. So let's see what happens now. Perfect. Okay. And I didn't trigger anything else. I just triggered that. So it doesn't know what to do now. And does it go back into the other animation or not? So that's just a good way to kind of test out your animations, see if they work, and how to strengthen your animations back in Maya. So go on to the next video.